What is up guys, it is Steady Chaos. So I wanted to make a quick video talking about Resident Evil 8, The Village on PC. So if you're like me and you use a controller, uh, this probably applies to the PlayStation 4, 5, and Xbox versions as well. If you use a controller, you just feel like the default settings for Ethan's movement are sluggish and slow, that he reacts slowly, he looks slowly, and that combat just feels kind of off. Especially if you're coming from a game like I am, like Dying Light, where everything is so responsive, the movement is so snappy and crisp. So, I want you to try out my settings and let me know what you think. I feel like these settings that I use are very, very responsive for uh, Resident Evil 8 The Village when using a controller. So, just hit start, go to options, go to camera. And so on default, the movement camera speed on controller is 5 and the aiming camera speed on controller is 2. The movement camera acceleration with controller is mid and the aiming camera acceleration with controller is mid as well. So what I do is I pump this up to 9. That might be a little bit too much for some of you. I also use the uh, joystick extenders known as control freaks which give you better sort of accuracy and control over your character so if you're not using those I definitely would keep this around an 8 it's not quite so sensitive but a lot higher than the default setting of 5 so try try out an 8 and then aiming uh, camera speed on controller so when you have your gun drawn and you're picking a target bump this up to 3 and then the key here is to the movement camera acceleration with controller and the aiming camera acceleration with controller, move those up to strong. So now when you watch me move around, it's just so much more snappy. You can react to enemies behind you much more quickly. Uh, you can move with more precision around corners. And everything in general just feels much more responsive. Granted, I'm playing on a PC with a 3950X Ryzen CPU and an RTX 3080, so I'm getting around 100 to 120 FPS, so that makes the game also feel much more responsive than a console would be at 30 to 60 FPS, but still, I feel like the, the principle stands. If you want to have better overall precision with your movement, if you want to have better reaction time, then certainly try out these settings. Again, really quick, options camera 8 on movement camera speed on controller 3 on aiming camera speed on controller and strong for both the movement camera acceleration and the aiming camera acceleration with the controller all right guys let me know how you feel about these movement settings let me know if they work for you if not let me know what your movement settings are and maybe i'll give those a whirl all right guys if you like the video please leave a like and please subscribe to the channel if you can and i will see you guys later peace